Let's uh, apply some of the mass transfer principles in uh, determining the convective transport of uh, water vapor in air. So we can have a uh, situation of uh, water in a uh, tray and uh, we are looking at uh, water vapor moving into the air. We can also consider a uh, food material that has a uh, high moisture content so that it has a layer of water on its surface. Uh, this is a case of what we call a constant rate drying period. Uh, so there is uh, plenty of water that uh, uh, replenishes any water that evaporates from the surface. So there is always a layer of water present uh, on the food. Uh, so that's a case where we have water vapor transferring from the uh, food surface into the air. Now to develop the uh, mathematical expressions uh, for this case, uh, let's begin with the humidity ratio a term that uh, you may have seen in another tutorial on uh, psychrometric properties. But let's review that uh, briefly. Humidity ratio is uh, mass of water in a kilogram of dry air. Now we will use a perfect gas equation. We are going to assume that both water vapor and air are uh, perfect gases. That means they obey the uh, law that you have seen in physical chemistry, uh, PV equals RT, and that they also have uh, constant specific heats. So the humidity ratio, the symbol we use is W, equals kilogram of water vapor divided by kilogram of dry air. So that equals PW times V divided by RWT and then divided by PAV divided by RAT. Note that the partial pressure PA, which is partial pressure of dry air, equals the atmospheric pressure P minus PW, where PW is the partial pressure of water vapors. Let's go ahead and define all the symbols so we are clear about them. Uh, v is the volume of air vapor mixture and units are cubic meters. Uh, P is the atmospheric pressure. Uh, PA is the partial pressure of dry air. Uh, PW is the partial pressure of water vapors and of course the units for uh, pressure terms are uh, pascals. Ra is the gas constant of dry air and the gas constant of dry air is 287 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Rw is the gas constant of water vapor and it equals 461.5 joules per kilogram Kelvin. T is the absolute temperature of air vapor mixture in Kelvin. Okay, so we have all our symbols defined. Now if we get back to this uh, ratio, we can cancel out the volume terms as well as the temperature term. So we are left then with W equals RA, so that RA from the denominator will appear in the numerator, RA times PW divided by RW times P minus PW. That will equal, substituting for RA and RW, we have 287 divided by 461.5 and then times PW divided by P minus PW. Now 287 divided by 461.5 equals 0 0.622 times PW divided by P minus PW. So the humidity ratio W equals 0.622 PW over P minus PW. And now we will use this uh, expression we just derived for the humidity ratio in our mass transfer uh, equation. So note that 
In our tutorial on the mass transfer coefficients, we obtained mass flux based on vapor pressure gradient as m dot b equals km times a m b divided by r u t a p b one minus p b two. So instead of using the subscript b. Let's, uh, let's use subscript for water vapor as W. So let's rewrite that expression so that it's a little more clear. Uh, we can say M dot W equals KM times A times MW, where, of course, M here, capital M, is uh, molecular weight of water, divided by RU, which is the universal gas constant, uh, times T, the absolute temperature, and then in parentheses, we will have the partial pressure of water vapor 1 minus partial pressure of water vapor 2. So now we can write the expression we saw earlier of W in terms of uh, 1 and 2. So we have W1 equals 0 0.622 times PW1 divided by P minus PW1. Similarly, we have W2 equals 0.622 times PW2 divided by P minus PW2. So now we can go ahead and uh, subtract the second equation here from the first. So we have W1 minus W2 equals 0.622, which will be outside the parentheses, and inside we have PW1 divided by P minus PW1 minus PW2 divided by P minus PW2, end of parentheses. Now note that the atmospheric pressure P is a much larger value than the partial pressure of water vapor. So we can then simplify this expression as W1 minus W2 equals 0.622, and in parentheses we have PW1 divided by P, uh, because P is much larger than PW1, minus PW2 divided by P, and end of parentheses. So W1 minus W2 equals 0.622 divided by P, uh, and then in the parentheses we have PW1 minus PW2, end of parentheses. We can write it in terms of the uh, difference in partial pressure water vapor. So we have PW1 minus PW2, equals W1 minus W2 times P, which is the total pressure, divided by 0.622. Now we can go ahead and substitute this uh, PW1 minus PW2 in this expression into our original equation for the uh, flux of uh, water vapor. So we have M dot W, which is the uh, flux of water vapor, uh, equals Km, which is the mass transfer coefficient, times area, A, times the molecular weight of water, Mw, uh, divided by Ru, which is the universal gas constant, times the absolute temperature. And then we have W1 minus W2, and uh, outside the parenthesis, we will have the atmospheric pressure, divided by 0.622. And just rearranging the terms, we can say that m dot w equals km a mw times p in parentheses w1 minus w2 divided by 0.622 ru, which is the universal gas constant, times uh, the absolute temperature. So this is our expression then, which gives us the mass flux this is for the movement of water vapors from the water surface into air. And as we noted earlier, this expression has many uses, including in the determination of constant rate drying period.